So many people have asked me about this subject, so I'm going to share with you the real Nibiru. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Nibiru is a term in the Akkadian language meaning crossing or point of transition, like in river crossings or ferry boats. It's seemingly a direct reference to crossing the river of death, the final transition from earthly life. In Babylonian astronomy, Nibiru is the point of the summer solstice and its associated constellation. It's a high satanic holy day of human and animal blood sacrifices. Nibiru was considered the seat of Sumas Deus, who pastures the stars, or fallen angels, like sheep. In Babylon, identified with Marduk, who was an idol of the personage of Satan himself, so Nibiru is identified as the seat of Satan and crossing over of the transition of death. Nibiru is Marduk's star which he made appear in the heavens. The stars of heaven let him, that is Nibiru, set their course. Let Nibiru shepherd all the gods like sheep. So Nibiru itself, or himself, is identified as Satan. Babylonians venerated Marduk as the ruler of the cosmos. Satan, as we know, is the prince of the power of the air. Nibiru and Satan are one. Marduk, Nibiru are one. Nibiru, this star god that we know as Lucifer or Satan, was worshipped as occupying the passageways of heaven and earth. There is only one passage from earth to heaven. The passage is death. For humans, that passage is death. Nibiru and Satan are one and the same, and through them is the passage of eternal death. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Nibiru is Satan saying, No, I'm the way to a transition and an ascendance through the passage of death. I am the God who directs all other gods. Nibiru is a lie. If you're looking for and longing for some occultic, mythical planet or star or solar system traveling through this solar system, calling it Nibiru, you're longing and looking for Satan. And you're longing and looking forward to his passage to eternal death, the passage to hell.
If you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, and have dabbled in the belief of Nibiru, if your conscience is not seared and dull, something deep down inside you has gnawed at you all along, telling you something is not quite right. That something is plain to you now. That something is the Lord. Renounce the belief in Nibiru. Ask God to forgive you for this. It is the worship of his enemy, Satan. Read the Bible and speak to the Lord daily. Listen to what he has to say to you. Learn from his word where we are. Do not rely on the words of men. Go to God's word personally. Ask him to show you, and he will. James 1.5 tells us, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Now people who are telling you that NASA is postulating there is a solar system traveling through ours or lying just outside our solar system getting ready to come in, these people are lying to you. NASA has never postulated Nibiru nonsense. Ask anyone at NASA and they will tell you the same. James 1, 3 and 4 says, Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. My friends, when you are confronted with information that you're not quite sure about, does it align itself with God? Is it true? Research. Do that research. Learn and ask the Lord for wisdom and He will give it to you. That is God's promise to you. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching and God bless you.